Greetings. Have you got a contract for me? There are contracts for killing things, contracts for... Hmm. Well, it is mostly killing. Remember, this person needs to be dead dead. Not dead adjacent. Fully dead. Just think of the reward while you work. Keep you motivated. What do you have today? As artistic merit, I give you that. Thank you for you. I'm go with Hey what evil best
see you, old friend. gentle if they spot me.
surveying the area, Sunan. Good day! Have you got a contract for me? I have just received news of work that requires your special skill set. There will be contract. What do you have? and yet lightweight, perfect for your line of work. Have a good day. I'm so Hi, Tabor.
You would imagine we would run out of work at some point. <laughs> Come back any time. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? Who I you saw the trees, for? and Who's the water, the and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. Do you want to die, please? Valka! Godzebo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? Octavian. A strange man. I think you'll like him. You see there? Your home is just ahead. 
Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there, thank you. And here we are. Lovely, just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. <laughs>